Okay, how do you start a vlog? <laughs> Hi! Uh, for those who don't know who I am, I am Erica Harlicker. Hold on, I wasn't looking at the camera. <laughs> Let me start over. Hi! For those who don't know who I am, I'm Erica Harlicker, voice actress in video games, anime, uh, etc, etc, fun stuff. Sometimes I play the games I'm in on stream and then upload them here to YouTube. Yeah, it's like the best job ever. But one thing that people are really surprised about when I talk about voiceover is the fact that I don't know a lot of my fellow cast members. When I record for like video games and anime especially, I'm by myself in the booth. So oftentimes, the first time I'm meeting a cast is like at a convention or at a cast party, but uh, a certain Genshin Impact <laughs> uh, was released during a global pandemic. So we didn't have a cast party and there were no conventions. So I haven't met a lot of the cast. And now that things are a little bit safer, um, I wanted to organize like an outdoor meetup thing so that we could actually meet each other. Some people in the cast I've known for a long time and we're really good friends, but some I like don't, I don't know. I've played Among Us with some people that I haven't actually met, so I feel like I know them because like murdering each other is a very bonding experience I've, I've found. But yeah, we don't actually know each other in real life, which is very strange. So I told everyone that I wanted to do a picnic, a Genshin picnic, and I thought it would be really fun if we all brought like food or drinks or something that kind of had to do with our characters. So I play Venti and um, Venti really likes apples. So I'm going to be making some apple tarts and my mom used to make really good apple tarts when I was a kid. So I asked her how to do it and she told me and I haven't done it before and we have like an hour and a half before I have to leave. So it's one shot and that's all we get. And if I mess up, then I'll have nothing. The oven says we're ready, so. <laughs> So, I preheated the oven to 375, that's step one. And then I have been defrosting a puff pastry thing. Oh wait, you know what, before we start cooking, apron. I don't wanna get food all over my clothes. I clearly cook a lot. Ta-da, apron. Okay, I have this cool apple slicer, but this is way too big. Look, these are not thin slices, so I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll play it by ear. Okay, here we go. Uh, Ta-da! Uh, hello! Gus is coming to the picnic too! Everybody's gonna meet Gus! So many people! So many of my fellow actors are like, I wanna meet Gus! And today's the day. Today's the day we gave him a haircut because it's gonna be hot. So now his fur's short, so he doesn't die in the heat. Alright, good boy. Look, there's some apples. Beautiful. But you can't get near them because I don't want your dog saliva on them. Okay, also I don't I don't vlog, obviously. So I know the lighting back there is probably not great, especially when I go over here, but we're just gonna ignore it as I gesture with this knife. Sure, I'll play you another tune, but it'll cost you an apple. <laughs> I've got so many apples. It's because I played so many tunes. I'm a little bit nervous about this picnic because I planned it. <laughs> but my plan stopped at we should have a picnic. I don't usually plan things, I just kind of like go where the wind takes me, you know, in real life. <laughs> so thankfully, Chris Bannis and Sarah and Zach and some, uh, some of the other cast members all really stepped up to help kind of organize so that we actually had a place to go and uh, a plan. So that's very exciting. <laughs> I was a guest with Zach at his very first convention when he was a little little baby teenager. He was like 16 and uh, it was very exciting. And um, yeah, we were there for Old Noah Zero. So it was me and Zach and Max Middleman and Erica Lindbeck and the four of us went for that specific show. It was really fun. <laughs> now he's like a grown up with a YouTube channel. They grow up so fast. <laughs> he's also gonna be there, I think filming his own video. So watch his too, I guess, you know. You probably already watched his, let's be real. His channel is more popular than mine, it's fine. Okay, also no promises. Koi, Koi Dao, who I know you all love, was supposed to come today. He might be a little sick. So in that case, he's not gonna come to be like extra safe, you know, cause we're like kind of in a pandemic still. But he, that was a few days ago that he said he was sick. So if he's better, if it was just a cold, then he'll be there. But you know, no promises. Please watch anyway. <laughs> I was planning to put him in the thumbnail, but now, 
What am I to do? I just have to put myself. Okay, I think I need a plate for these. Excuse me. You're in the way. That's where I keep my plates. Okay. Ah! Oh no! Gus, get that apple! I think Sarah's bringing her dog too, Gus. You're gonna make a dog friend. So exciting. I'm gonna combine in a bowl cinnamon and sugar in equal parts. One fourth cup each, so half a cup each because we're making two. Cinnamon. We gotta put it into a bowl. Ah! Don't eat a spoonful of it like everyone did a while ago. It's just the whole thing. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe I was supposed to take them out of the box with all them? I don't know. We're just gonna wing it, you know? It's just what Venti would do. Oh, wait! I need to spray this with Pam! Pam! I think. I don't know. Just for baking. I'm gonna say yes. Flour. <laughs> oh no, it's so frozen. It's just icy. I feel like the heat from the oven's over here, so maybe that'll help thaw it a little better. Okay, thaw it in the microwave? That's a bad idea, let's not do that. That sounds like a good way to ruin our dough. I should have closed the window blinds, but I don't have any window blinds because I'm lazy and I haven't gotten any for my house on this one window. I have them on my other windows, but this one does a weird shape and I couldn't just buy them. I had to like get someone to come in and like measure and that seemed annoying, so I didn't do it. I'm gonna be late to the thing that I organized. You know, it's fine, fashionably late. <laughs> Venti arrives when it suits him, you know? Venti does not arrive on time. Sometimes he gets stuck at the tavern, telling stories, singing songs, <laughs> making apple tart. It's cool. It's good. We got it. By the way, since people seem highly confused in my comment section, Venti is a boy. Well, okay. Venti is a genderless god. This is what was told to me on my first session. Venti is a genderless god, but he is choosing to present as a boy right now. So we use he, him for him. He's a boy. I am not a boy. I am a she, her. For some reason, people are really confused a lot of the time when they see me. And then they say, wait, is Venti a girl? And then I say, no. Is Bart Simpson a girl? Is Ash Ketchum a girl? Is Naruto a girl? Is Timmy Turner a girl? Is Ben 10 a girl? No, they're not. It's just that when men grow up, their voices drop and then they can't do the high voices anymore of a child. But we of the more estrogeny variety, <laughs> our voices don't drop. I mean, okay. Some men's voices don't drop like that, so some men can still play younger characters, obviously. But more often than not, they need a female to play a boy character, because we can kind of sound like kids still a little bit if we try. So, Venti's not a girl. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. This one's having trouble. But this one, ooh, beautiful. <laughs> Hooray. So normally I would leave a bigger border, um, as the instructions said, but since I'm gonna be cutting them into such small pieces, like I said, I think it's better to not leave a border. And I'm also skipping the egg wash that you would do around the border. So I think it's gonna be fine. Apricot jelly. I felt like we already have apples, you know? I felt like apricot gives it another flavor. So I chose that over the apple jelly, but if you don't like apricots, apparently you can use apple jelly. I love apricots. Got a brush. This is like, it's like we're Bob Ross. Just paint some trees, you know, do your best with the apple or the apricot jam. Brush it wherever you feel. Don't be constrained by the lines of the apples. The important part is that you're having fun. That's what Bob Ross says, right? That was a good Bob Ross impression. This does feel like I'm doing an art project right now, which is nice. Da da da, as fast as we can, we're gonna slice these apples, but try not to slice or who knows how many more slices we need? I guess like 12. So of each of these big slices, that's three little slices, and we need 12 little slices. Class, can you tell me what that is? How many big slices we need to make 12 little slices? Four! Very good! This has been math with Venti. How many is that? This is four. <laughs> Math is Venti, but Venti can't count. It's really a gamble if you'll learn anything during the class. All right, here we go. Put the jam on the apples. Apricot jam. I actually didn't know about this step. 
I apparently did not pay attention when I was a child when this was being made. I just remember wanting to help put the sugar on, so that's how I knew that part. But I guess I didn't know about the apricot jam or apple jelly, depending on your preference. But I'm pretty sure my mom would have always used apricot jam if possible, because she loves apricots too. We always used to have dried apricots in the house. And then when I was really little, I'm pretty sure we had an apricot tree, the first house I can remember living in. That is a big glob of jelly, but you know. <laughs> It's fine. Jam. This is jam, not jelly. I don't know the difference. What is the difference? Is one like, I don't know, gelatin-y or? That's a word, right? I'm writing a book. <laughs> My vocabulary is top notch. Uh-oh. Is this enough? We'll make it work. As Bob Ross would say, I don't actually know what he says, but as Tim Gunn would say, make it work. I don't think that show's been on TV for a long time, so you might not know what I'm talking about at all because I'm old and you are young. All right, I think I did it. Spaced it out just right. Okay, now let's put the sugar on here. We're gonna cut it so close. <gasps> you know what I didn't do? I didn't spray this one with Pam. It's fine, no problem. This will be a nice experiment to see if the Pam helps or if the Pam was useless. There we go. Let me show you what they look like. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, ignore the trash. Okay, so now we're gonna put them in the oven for 30 minutes and hope that everything's good. Because for some reason in my brain, I'm like, maybe it'll it'll stick less if it's higher up. It doesn't make any sense. All right, let's set the timer. 30 minutes. Okay, was that the last step? <laughs> I assume it's in the oven. Okay, and then when it comes out, keep the caramel topping sauce in the microwave till caramel, drizzle over cooked tart, cut into six sections. <laughs> We're gonna cut into a lot more than six sections and serve. Cool, all right, sweet. So, while that's uh, baking for 30 minutes, I'm gonna go put my hair up because it's gonna be super hot at the park. I'm gonna put all this trash away. And um, yeah, I'll come back when the, when the tarts are ready. Okay? All right, see you then. They'll either be really good and perfect or they'll be burnt and I'll be sad. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, I did some uh, venti braids in the front and then I kind of did like a long ponytail. <laughs> I don't know if it's weird or cute, but I wanted to keep the venti braids, so. I don't know, and it's gonna be so hot at the park. I suggested we do a beach day when I realized how hot it was gonna be, but everyone was really into the park picnic idea, so hopefully we don't die. These are the bubble wands that I'm bringing. Look, okay, I've got, I tried to get different colors for different things, so we have like the Electro one, we have the Animo one, we have Fire? They didn't have red. Uh, and then Green. Is there a green? I don't remember what green is, if green exists. This can be all of them. <laughs> I got these big bubble wands so that we don't have to blow bubbles, you know, cause like illnesses are a thing and we don't like those. So hopefully we can just wave them around and have bubbly fun. I was gonna try and get water balloons cause it's gonna be hot, but I weirdly couldn't find water balloons. Obviously we were gonna pick up all of the water balloons and not leave any trash in this public park, but I couldn't find any. So, I guess maybe people don't use water balloons anymore or something. Maybe they're bad for the environment, in which case, good thing I didn't find any, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're getting ready. Two, one. <gasps> oh, wait, hold on. Turn you off so you stop beeping. Okay, now. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Now. <sighs> Ooh, look at that. Look at those apples. The camera won't focus, but that's okay. Ooh, gorgeous. Wow, so blurry. How do I focus this? I don't know. You just get a blurry look. Ooh, gorgeous. So blurry. So pretty. <laughs> Luke, can you help me focus this camera? My husband's coming to help, don't worry. Ooh, thanks Luke. You're welcome. Now you can see how pretty it is. Beautiful. Ooh, crispy, okay, that's a good sign. Okay, the dough's all the way cooked through. Good sign, everybody. <gasps> Ooh, it looks so pretty. Okay, 
that in for a few minutes. And in the meantime, maybe I'll try one of these to make sure they're good. Oh, yeah, this one's so nice and crispy. Mmm. Okay. I think I did a good job. Cinnamony. Apple <laughs> Not as good as my mom makes, but for a first attempt, I think mean, it's pretty good. Gus, are you excited to go to the park? Yeah! He said yes. Okay, and I got Gus some treats so that he'll like everybody. They can give him treats, and it's gonna be very exciting. Oh, and I also got him a ball so everybody can throw it at the park. Okay, if you donate to Typo, you can get one of these cool bags. It's also the place I bought the pen so that's cute. a punching glove. <laughs> he also bought a pen that's a punching glove there. So that was not that was not from a donation apparently. Okay, so we're gonna put got some dog bowl, got some dog treats, a ball, ah, the bubble wand. Okay, so we're all ready to go. Gus and I are gonna get in the car and we're gonna drive like the wind safely because we are a little bit late, but we don't want to crash. And I'll see you guys when we get to the picnic. Bye! Yay, we made it! All right, we ran into Bri and Dina. Hi, Alicia! Hey! All right, we're running into everybody, so I'm not as late as I thought. That's good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi! I'm so very excited. You guys. I know, I know, I'm so excited. I haven't met people in the cast yet, so. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Guess who? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh my gosh, they're all so cute. Come on, buddy. Yes. Yes, you've made us extra late. There's a lot of wind today. God of animal, you know. We made it. Finally. What? So you have one with you wherever you go. <gasps> oh my god! Which one do you want? Oh, I want this one. Yay, thank you! Yeah, you have a Gift from the Bowen! Yay! Oh, let me see what you do. Thank you. Oh, god. Yay! Gift from the Bowen! So exciting. Bubble ones! Bubble ones! Yay! One of some of the colors of the characters. Is there a green power? Yeah. Wait, I thought oh, Animal was animal blue. blue. Yeah, Animal's blue. Like, like, the, like the plant one? There's a plant one? <laughs> we know some Christian! Is there a is there a green element? Alright, green is dendro. <laughs> I figured it out. Finally. Ah! Emergency food! <laughs> Okay, okay. What food did you guys bring that was related to your character? I brought everything so we don't die. Okay, good. Yeah. True treasure hoarder. Yes. Yeah. What did you bring in relation to your character? Anything? Oh, God. <laughs> Animal power. All right. I brought, um, sausages, buns, and guac, and beer, and there's nothing to use my character. Not chaotic. All right, cool. I love it. What about you guys? Hi, bye, -bye. Right. <laughs> I brought my big floppy hat, nice. and I also bought, uh, brought golden crab. <gasps> nice! I'm not a pony with just so I just realized nobody knows my face. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you bring? That. I brought a gluten-free strawberry shortcake okay. and a chocolate layer cake, also gluten-free. Nice! Oh, Remy! Hi! You're not interested in Gus, huh? Gus, come here, buddy! And Gus is not interested in him. Oh. Gus! Hey, buddy. I'm supposed to be filming the people here, but I just... It's mostly dogs. Griffin's here! Oh. Hey, what's up? Get in the shape. Good to see ya. Oh, we on video? Yes, hey. Hi. I'm making a vlog. What's up? What'd you bring? I brought chips, Beyond, Beyond sausage. Cool. And napkins. Nice. And some plates. No chopsticks. No chopsticks. No chopsticks. So, okay, cool. can't do that. Nice. Socks! <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? Nice. All right, what'd you bring, traveler? I brought egg tarts and a big cooler, which I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to bring it down here. So. Do you need help? Yeah, yeah. I need some yeah. All right, cool. What up? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Chris is here. How many people are you just meeting today? Uh, like in person? A handful. Even though you've directed everybody here. Yeah, I feel like I know everybody <laughs> yeah. for years. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, okay, water, wait, <laughs> <laughs>
I'm all sweaty. <laughs> it's so hot out. Um, Back, Greg, look. Look at that box. Oh, yeah, that's the one I made. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're going to be imposter, like, unstoppable imposters, right? Hi. Yeah. Hi. I, yeah. Want, I want us to imposter together yes, so agree. badly. I know. Like, I think we're going to be. I've got to, I've got to, like, do, I've got to pair up with Zach. <laughs> and, like last time, and that went pretty great. It's gonna be awesome. So, yeah, it's, we're gonna kill everybody. Everybody, yeah. kill everybody. Yeah. look around. <laughs> These are all the uh, virtual bean bodies. I also love you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, you're also filming Hello. with your iPhone. Yes. <laughs> you look fancier iPhone than me, though. I had a real camera, but it died on the walk over here. So. Yeah. No. Because I filmed, I filmed myself making my apple tarts, yeah. and then I forgot to like recharge it. You know? Because no. I don't, I don't vlog. Yes. We're multi vlogging. Yeah, see, like, yeah. Oh, that works. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna vlog too? Hey! What's going on? I usually just show up as a blurry shape, like Bigfoot on pictures. <laughs> it's a show oh my god! What is happening? Oh my god! Oh my god! Is he done vlogging? Is he 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 vlogging? I'm making a video. Yeah, woo! Content. Content. It's a fail. I'll fix it up and edit it. Yeah, I've got my editor. Thanks, editor. Bubbles! I like that I, I got I got the big ones specifically so we didn't have to blow into them, but everybody's blowing into them. Oh, I've been saying, I've been saying Boba. 
I know this has been brilliant. Yeah. I mean, it's been so great seeing everyone. Brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. Oh, look, it's the babies. They're hanging out. They're I so know. Good. They're awesome. They're so good. I keep it's so putting too much on. <laughs> I want to get the line. Hold on. Wait. A touch of frost. Yay! Surrounded by dogs. Chung and the dog whisperer. Love it. I don't trust anybody with only one stomach. That's actually a voice line. No, it isn't. No, Paimon has multiple stomachs. Paimon is actually a cow. Seriously, this is a thing. Core. Everybody forgets me in the game when a new banner drops, okay? Well, Wait. let's be real, that's the I start of the game. I've played your wife in three houses, <laughs> and this is how you treat me. That is true. Yeah. I have sinned. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Very good. Anyway, uh, uh, it's Shamir. Oh. If you ever want to trade tactics, sure, why not? <laughs> they do come back usually. But what happens one day if they leave and never come back? Just like daddy. <laughs> Demi! Demi voice revealed! Yeah! <laughs> Definitely not me! <laughs> I wish! I wish I Timmy so much! I wanted to be the voice of Timmy! I love Timmy! Timmy's the best character he in the He is the best character! I agree! I, Timmy's absolutely the best character in the game. Yes! <laughs> killed this pigeon so many times. Me too! <laughs> I always kill this pigeon! Why? Because why? He deserves to suffer. Oh, yeah. yeah. So listen, they Timmy. Make fun death sounds. Yeah, Timmy. Well, okay. Timmy got really mad at me for the ducks. The ducks. Well, okay. See, like, dude, he told me to take care of the pigeon problem with the ducks, and I did. So, like, I don't know what he's mad about. Wait, hold on. You killed the ducks? Yeah. Why did you, why did you kill the ducks? My child. at the park for over five hours with a lot of cast members stopping by for as long as they were able to. Some were only able to stay for a little while, but I think we ended up having close to 30 of us there throughout the day, which is so cool. <laughs> of course, not everybody can make it. Looking at you, Koi, feel better? Thanks for not bringing your rose germs to us all. <laughs> but it was so incredible to meet some of them for the very first time and to hang out with some friends that I haven't seen in a really long time because COVID two years oh my god I definitely want to hang out with these amazing people again soon and hopefully meet even more new friends as more and more characters are announced thank you so much to everyone who enjoys the game and supports us we are so incredibly grateful to share what we do with you and we will keep giving our all for every project we're a part of I'm so happy you found joy in Genshin obviously we all have to until next time bye when there's trouble, you call DW. Park with Doug! Let's see. Ah! Hello, Hello. 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 Hello.